Oh. That's so helpful of him. So very, very helpful. And how is that going? Do you have any leads on that gun? Ah, uh, yes. As you said. Your gun, yes. Do you want to talk about something else now? He seems to be in some sort of loop. Well, that's not good. Looks fine over here. Are you sure it's not some sort of glandular problem? What is happening? No, it's not that. It's... I have no idea. This is bad. Executive function is completely shot. I keep pushing buttons and nothing is happening. Of all the things to be stuck looping, this has got to be one of the most witless. Sweetheart, please stop repeating that now. This is going to be hard to recover from. Please. How do we get out of here? What makes you think we will? Yes, yes, Mr. Everard. This gossiping idea was terrible on my part. I take it back. The woman scans her surroundings as though a neurologist might magically appear. Fear seeps into you as you say it. Your skin crawls. Mr. Avart is helping him find his gun. Do you want me to take you to a hospital, sir? Things were going so well before. There's no other option. The process must be interrupted. You think we should turn him off and back on again? Officer! Yeah, we need to pull the plug. There's nothing else to do. Are you not afraid it'll kill him? Physically, he should be fine. Or at least no worse than usual. What if he forgets everything again? Okay, I'm gonna do it. Hold on. Detective! Is everything all right in there? No, not at all, I'm afraid. Y you seem to be caught in some sort of loop. Never mind the details. We've wasted enough time as it is. What matters is that you seem to have got out of it. Now, please ask me something else before it happens again. Something that, preferably, doesn't include the words Mr. or Everard. <laughs>